Well, here we go. Uh, we've got a very, very cool little nocturnal predator. It's called a genet. And they are, he's hunting for birds that are sleeping in that tree at the moment. So they look like a cat, even though they're not related to cats. Um, they're more closely related to mongoose and raccoons. And you can see they're very, very pretty, pretty little, little creatures. So he's trying to find a sleepy bird to eat. Uh, they're expert climbers and they live in hollows in the trees or sometimes in, in, in holes in the ground. You can see how he's sniffing, sniffing, checking for birds. Hello, Lila. Lila would like to know why are the eyes of the owl so big? Well, Lila, it's so he can catch any spare light. Oh, up he goes, the genet. Um, so you can see better at night. Now, if we look carefully at that genet and you look under his eyes, where is he going? Up. There we go. You can see there's a little white spot under his eyes. So that white is actually designed to catch ambient light. So light from the moon, from the stars, and that makes his night vision better. Oh, he's disappeared. Let's see if I can get his eye. Oh, there he is, up, up a bit. Oh, he's gone into the thickets there, looking for some birdies to eat. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, big jump. Oh, he's going right to the tip top of the tree, hoping to find an unsuspecting dove. But alas, I think he's got the wrong tree tonight. Okay, good luck on your nocturnal hunting, Janet. We've still got lions to find.